Hey guys, so let's go ahead and jump into Libra season. Happy birthday to all the Libras out there. We're going to go ahead and start doing the monthly reading. So let's see what's coming up for you, Libras. Oops. During the month of October, let's see, for Libras. Ooh, first thing. Oh, nice. Okay. What's coming up for Libras? By the way, as the cards come out for your monthly reading, Ish. Um, as the cards come out for your monthly readings, I want to go ahead and update you guys on the change of format I'm doing. Here on YouTube, I am going to continue doing these monthly readings as well as the mid-month readings and the clarifiers. And then on the other platforms, I'm going to be doing other readings. So on Instagram, I'm going to be uploading abundance and prosperity readings. And then on TikTok, there will only be love readings. Um, oh, here on Facebook, here on Facebook, here on YouTube, I'm also going to be doing uh, the new and full moon readings. I forgot to mention that. And then on Facebook, I'm going to be doing um, seasonal readings, depending on where the sun is at. So if the sun right now, the sun is in Libra, so I'm going to be doing readings regarding partnerships, all sorts of partnerships, whether it's, you know, um, love or partnership like business partnership. So anywho, I hope you follow me on the other platforms and, um, yeah, see you there. <laughs> okay. So Libra, this is a very exciting month for you. I feel you've got, uh, you've got a lot going on here. You're showing up as queen of wands, very attractive to maybe a lot of people. Um, oh, okay. I feel as if um, you've got some secret admirers. Seven of Swords with this energy makes me feel like there's some people who secretly... <sighs> hmm. Four of Pentacles. Almost like they secretly want to possess you, but they don't really know how to go about this. Either way, I see you being in a very free-spirited energy, so I don't really think this is any of your concern. Like, not that it's any of your concern. I don't think it's anything you need to be concerned about, let me put it that way. Um, I feel like you're just kind of focusing on your own thing. Now, for those of you who are in a relationship, I feel like there is a lot of... There's good and bad, okay? Four of Wands makes me feel like maybe you guys are in a very firmly established relationship. But we do have the Five of Swords here, which we will clarify. But the Five of Swords can indicate power struggles. It can indicate misunderstandings. We are in the retrograde energy, so be careful with that. There might be like a big misunderstanding between you and your partner. Um, or there's something about, there's something about um, the connection between you and your partner where maybe y'all had a disagreement and... It's leading to power struggles in the sense of who's going to give in first is what it feels like. But with the lovers, I do feel like this connection is really powerful. So even if there is a issue, I do see communication coming through um, from your partner trying to work on the situation. Because I feel like both of you with the four of wands and the lovers, I feel like both of you have the same pull towards each other. So an apology is coming in, but there's still a struggle here. Five of Swords, Five of Wands. It's like there's you and your partner are showing up as very powerful individuals. And so there's a clash here. There's a clash of egos. There's a clash of personalities, two strong wills battling it out. But I would venture a guess that with this type of energy, it also means there's a lot of sexual tension between you two, which is, you know, why you're being looked like a snack. <laughs> Um, now we do have the nine of wands here. So although there's communication, the page shows up first before the king. So I feel like this person, your partner's approaching in a very cautious way. I think that it may come from this fear of getting hurt. They may see you as somebody who has the potential to, they may see you as arrogant because you're showing up as queen of wands to them. You feel like you're just in a confident energy. They see you like you are... Because we have six wands here. The five of wands is next to the queen of wands. They feel like you're very combative. Like you don't just let things be. 
And in your mind, you're probably like, well, why should I let a conversation go when we could clear the air? So clearing the air is very important to you. I do feel like that it de-escalates because Five of Swords is always more brutal. Maybe towards the beginning of October, there's a really ugly disagreement. Like this is low blows type of disagreement. And this is more like, okay, we're frustrated and we're angry, but we're still talking things out. But it still comes from this place. They may see you because they're showing up as water energy where you're showing up fire. So they may see you like too masculine, like you're too um, six of wands. You're in your ego. Maybe they feel like you are forcing them to bow down to you when in your mind that has nothing to do with why you're addressing what you're addressing. So there is an energy of cautiousness. And then we have ten wands. Um, now, nine of wands is here twice, the five and the four and then the queen and the eight. So I feel like both of you are being cautious for different reasons. Um, so apologies are here, but I think that once the air is cleared and they realize that that's not where you're coming from, that you actually have a very different perspective on what's happening, because I really feel like it's just a misunderstanding, then I feel like they escalate. They go from page of cups to king of cups then they change their approach because they're realizing that they had misunderstood you that, and you had misunderstood them. I think that you may be seeing them in an unfavorable light and they're seeing you in an unfavorable light, but there's still a lot of love. And then things shift. There's a much more um, loving approach. It starts off gentle and the more the air is cleared up, the more that they express, I feel. Now, there are two cups, so again, I feel mutual connection here, not just one-sided. And then we've got the Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like eventually this moves into the place of an offer of commitment, but this could also be uh, Taurus energy. We also have Gemini present. These are the only two major arcanas here, so I definitely feel a strong sense of commitment. There's an up-leveling of commitment. Um, but this... Yeah, let's clarify because this um, this could go a lot of different ways. I'm going to go ahead and clarify using the Witch's Tarot, which is one of my favorite tarots. Hold on, let me move this. Okay, one more shuffle. Alright. Clarify Queen of Wands for Libra. We've got the death card, the eight of pentacles and the tower, damn, with the eight of swords. Okay, so this disagreement, I feel like it puts you in this, because this is clarifying you as the overall energy, whether you are male or female, it does not matter. We're reading energies here, okay? So this isn't about genders. Queen of Wands represents the energy of somebody who's very confident in themselves, somebody who's very attractive, charming, sensual. Um, so this is that energy. Now, if you, Libra, know that this isn't you and maybe you're the King of Cups, uh, deeply emotional, but maybe shy and um, not expressive of emotion, like you feel deeply, but you're not opening up too much about that, then that could this could be you over here, the masculine energy. But anywho, so... I feel like this disagreement puts you in this energy of not knowing what to do. You kind of were stuck in your head for a little while thinking like you can't move towards this. Something about it is like you just can't. Um, you feel like it's just not the right thing to do, to move towards what you want. So honestly, I feel like you were in this energy of like the, it came as a it's over. This is destruction. It fell apart, but there's acceptance here. Like it's just, it is what it is. And then I see you focusing on uh, your career, on your day-to-day -day activities, your business. Like you're trying to get your mind off of this because it's just not going anywhere. Let's clarify the four of wands. So we've got the page, I mean page, the knight of pentacles, the high priestess, clarify four of wands. And the Two of Wands with the Karma card. Okay, so in case you're wondering with the Eight of Swords why you're struggling to let go of this, we have the High Priestess and the Karma card. So to me, these are two cards that indicate past life connection. So I feel like you and this person have known each other in a previous life. And that's why there's this powerful pull 
towards each other. Now, with the Knight of Pentacles, you may feel like there's no movement, right? That nothing is happening. So you're just like, I've got to focus on other things. I feel like there is something happening because we have this Ace of Pentacles being offered to you eventually. But I feel like it's because of the misunderstandings that there's no communication right now. There's no, nobody's speaking. Neither one of you is speaking. But I feel like it has more to do with figuring out how, how to approach, how to clear the air, how to get past this misunderstanding. For some of you, this has already happened. For others, this is not, it will happen. It just really depends on where you're at. Not every Libra is going to, you know, be on the same timeline. But regardless, I feel like you or your person are more in the energy of like just keeping to yourselves right now because you're planning how to approach this. But there is definitely a uh, past life connection here with the four of wands, high priestess and the karma card. I would venture to say that there might even have been a past life marriage or a past life union, which is why you feel that affinity in this lifetime. Let's clarify the five of swords. Clarify the five of swords. Ace of wands. Clarify the five of swords. Well, Jesus, the wheel of... And this deck is the wheel of the year, but it's the wheel of fortune. Clarify the five of swords. Oh my goodness, and the two of cups with the five of cups. Okay, okay, so five of swords, I don't think it was a fight. I don't see this as a fight. Although we have three fives now, five of swords, five of wands, five of cups. Yeah, I don't think it was a fight at all. I think maybe a few sharp words are exchanged, but more than anything, this is a power struggle with the five of swords because there's incredible pull. So not, it'll apply differently to different people, right? But I feel like one, one of you, and only you know who I'm referring to, one of you feels so much uh, passion, so much like it's blossoming, right? You see this wand that's blossoming. So much passion has blossomed with this connection that it's almost like it's making them refuse to admit it because they may feel like now you're, you, if this is you, you feel like this person has become a weakness to you. So Libra, if you've gotten to the point where you feel like this person has become a weakness to you, it's almost like you're turning your back, five of swords, five of cups, you're turning your back on this connection. Like, no, no. If it's vice versa and you feel this is your partner, so this is how you'll know, right? Which one you are. You'll know because one of you is being very expressive, very clear about how they feel. And the other person is, there's, there's no, they're not admitting the connection. They're not admitting love. They're not admitting that there's, because you see how there's a hand fasting, right? They've, they've uh, made their vows. One of you has been very open about your emotions and how you feel towards the other and the other one has not. But I will tell you this, the person that is in this power struggle or the person that has turned this into a power struggle is in deep regret for not expressing it, for not, um, because I think that with the tower and the death card, there was an ending here. So whoever it is that didn't open up is feeling... I think is feeling a lot of frustration right now. Now we do have seven cups here. So I think that there's also a lot of um, thinking about the other person, a lot of fantasizing about the other person, but no action is really being taken. Although we have the Ace of Wands, there could be occasional communication, but not yet. This will come maybe mid month or maybe second week, the second week of October. Let's look at the lovers, clarify the lovers. We've got the Nine of Cups the fool clarify the lovers and the queen of wands ah so here you show up again well one of you i don't know who the queen of wands is only you know libra whether you're the queen of wands or you're the king of cups but one of you is the queen of wands so whoever shows up as the queen of wands that's what scares this other person because the queen of wands is showing up not only in her full power she's showing up twice like in full glory completely empowered um 
they may see you as somebody who is indulgent, somebody who's a free spirit, somebody who can't be tied down, somebody who's always going to move away or move away from them. And I'm saying it's you because this is sword energy, air energy. This is a very free energy. So if this is you, Libra, this is what is attractive to them and is also terrifying to them. So I think that they kind of opted to, yeah, this person is going to break my heart. I'm just not going to, I'm just not going to engage at all, which is, you know, yeah, they, I felt like for a long time they were debating and then they just decided to let it go. And yet we have communication. So whenever this ended, they were pulling the energy of like, no, nah, fuck this. I'm just going to let it go. I don't have to deal with this. Let's see. Let's clarify it at once. We've got karma. <laughs> Clarify eight of wands. Clarify eight of wands. King of Pentacles. Hmm. Ten of Swords. And Nine of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords. So remember over here, you showed up with the Eight of Swords. Then there you showed up with the Eight of Swords. So... <laughs> Both of you are showing up in this energy of, I can't do this. I just can't move forward with this. Maybe in your energy, well, only you know which one you are, but whoever this is, they, they're fully confident. They have no problem saying what's on their mind. They have no problem expressing themselves. Whoever the masculine is, because this the female or the feminine is showing up twice in Queen of Wands energy. The masculine is showing up in King of Pentacles, King of Cups energy, which is not very talkative. But then they, here they come with communication. But let's see why first, okay? So we've got the karma card, which is in other decks, it's the judgment card, right? So something about a decision being taken, but I feel like they may have realized that there's some sort of bigger connection here. There's a divine connection here. King of Pentacles is somebody who is responsible for a lot of people. They are either a business owner or they are the head of a family and they're in charge of a lot of people. So with the Ten of Swords... Whenever this ending happened, I feel like this, this was devastating to this person. You felt a lot of destruction, but you're in the death energy. You're in the acceptance. You're in the transformation, transmutation, and moving forward. This person is in Ten of Swords mode and then Nine of Pentacles. Even though I feel like this is more how they see you. But regardless, so they see themselves as somebody who has a lot of duties, obligations, and has been betrayed has been hurt has been backstabbed and they see you as somebody who just doesn't care somebody who's free who's confident who's empowered moving on nine of cups nine of pentacles single without a care in the world when in reality they don't understand that you're in this you just you feel like you can't move towards them you just can't but i see them communicating with you because eight of wands is definite like like out of nowhere they feel this desire if i need to talk to them I need to say something and maybe they're going to come in with letting you know how hurt they feel how betrayed they feel I hope they don't because I feel like you'd probably be like excuse me <laughs> because you've you felt a fucking tower whereas they're at the ten of swords but let's see let's clarify page of cups clarify page of cups because page of cups is ooh, oh the emperor clarify page of cups okay Look at that. Ace of Swords. Damn. Holy shit. Guys. Guys, this is why I shuffle on camera. This is why. Because when things like these happen, I, this is, look at this. The Emperor and the Empress. With Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. So they see you as their divine match. Like nobody could match them the way you do. This is complete masculine energy. This is feminine energy. Now what I don't like is that the masculine came out with his back to her. However, it is clarifying Eight of Swords, Page of Cups, and these two. So I feel like initially this person's going to approach you almost like, imagine this emperor kind of handing her like a, a fruit or, or maybe this goblet of like, here, here you go. Like he's trying to not almost like he's trying to act disinterested with the eight of swords. He may also have situations in his life that 
make it difficult for him to approach her. So whoever the feminine is, she's showing up as two Queens of Wands and the Empress. Now, whatever it is that's holding this person back, it's getting to the point where he's realizing he could release himself at any moment, right? The Eight of Swords, um, you'll see how she is. Well, in this one, you can't really see the art, but in most of them, if you look behind her, she's the one holding this rope. She can let go of the rope and free herself and realize she's not actually imprisoned at any time. So he may be getting to that point because he is extending an apology. There is definitely clarity coming through for him, communication coming through for him. And look at this. We've also got Ace of Pentacles twice. So it's almost like the emperor, he's stepping into emperor energy. First of all, fucking congratulations, because the emperor is all four kings in one. So he's already showed up as king of pentacles, king of cups, but now the emperor embodies the action, king of wands, and the communication, king of swords. So he's definitely coming through with communication. Now it may start off tentative because it is page of cups, like uh, testing the waters, seeing how the empress feels about him, seeing how, how receptive she is, but she also sees him as her match. So it's not a bad thing. It's not, it's not, I mean, look at you guys. We have the four of wands, two of cups, the lovers, the emperor and the empress with two aces already. Three aces actually with the ace of wands. What more could possibly come out to confirm the solidifying of this couple? I don't fucking know, but I'm actually going to put this one out because this is amazing. Let's look at the five of wands because there's still some conflict. There's still things that need to be resolved. They're still like, okay, that's great. Yes. There's emotions there. We, we feel connected, but we still need to talk about some things. Clarify five of wands. We've got seven of pentacles, the sun card, and king of cups again. Okay. With the magician. So it could have been, and I'm saying this only because king of cups has shown up twice. It could have been the masculine that held back his emotions for a long time because we do have seven of pentacles here with the man. So this man, masculine energy could have been weighing the pros and cons about whether this was a good investment, whether it was worth his time, whether it was worth his energy. And meanwhile, the feminine energy was feeling like there's just, am I the only one in this connection? So I feel like that's a big part of what needs to be cleared up because now he's showing up as king of cups twice, like expressing deep emotion, expressing. Now I will say, look at his face though. Y'all see his face in this one, especially. I feel like initially he may do so reluctantly because remember, this is a power struggle for this person. They may feel like she's taking too much power from them until they realize eventually that it's mutual, right? Love is power, but it's an exchange of power. It's not a taking of power. So initially I feel like this person may struggle with this. It is a little bit of a struggle, but I feel like eventually they will realize we have everything here. Both of us, this person is giving as much as they're asking of me and they may see, okay, this is worth my time. This is worth my investment. And then the sun card, there's a lot of happiness that comes through a lot of joy. Like, wow, Libra, this is, this is a really good, I'm just going to tuck this back in because it's, it's a really good connection because otherwise it feels like out of order to me. Yeah, they may not, you know, the seven of swords came up beneath the magician. I just have to be honest about that. There may be still some things that they're not expressing because we have the seven of swords came up over here too. There's still something that's not being said, but you won't know. Whatever's being held back, you won't know until the time comes what it is, right? So if you feel like this person isn't being completely honest, I don't, I really don't know. I mean, I see honesty here. Maybe they feel like some things you don't need to know because it doesn't have anything to do with you. Only time will tell really, because I don't see deception on a grander scale. I see it more like maybe they're afraid to share certain things with you, but eventually I think it'll still come through. It'll still come out. So I don't know. The truth always comes through regardless. That's what the Ace of Swords is. Let's look at this King of Cups. Clarify King of Cups. This is 
So I see them finally expressing emotion. Okay, these are too many, so I'm putting them back. Got the Temperance card. Clarify the King of Cups. Eight of Wands. Oh, yeah. Clarify the King of Cups. Definitely communicating their emotions. So look at this. This King of Cups showing up twice after the Emperor has already shown up, right? The Emperor is all four kings, but what keeps being highlighted is his emotions, right? So I feel like part of what he kept locked away and even in denial, perhaps, denial, um, restraint, secretive, was his emotions. But we have ten swords. That's done now. That's completed. More than anything, or I will say this, there's still a possibility that part of what's being held back, remember I said you're still not being shown the full truth, it may be that this person isn't expressing the depth of what they feel. They may be expressing emotion, but they're not letting you know just how deep this goes for them regardless there is a harmony here there's a coming together there's a resolving differences there's lots of communication eight of wands already came out twice lots of expressing things lots of clearing the air lots of moving forward i feel plans being made um that could be also what involves the ace of pentacles twice but yeah definitely resolving the five of swords moving past it letting it go um and this could be what was so strong for this person could have been the fact that maybe for a long time, that's how they perceive love because they are showing up in a very masculine energy. So they perceive love like it was going to take power from them, like somebody was going to have control over them. And they're learning that that's not what it is. So let's look at this Hierophant. Clarify the Hierophant. Okay, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Look at this. They're showing up as King of Wands now. I like it. So far, they've shown up as King of Pentacles, King of Cups, the Emperor, and the King of Wands. Very good. Very good. Very strong personality. Clarify the Hierophant. And the Knight of Swords. Wow. Talk about action. Very action-oriented. Um, so when it's showing up as a Hierophant, I will say this. Okay, there's, there's something I have to say. There is something I have to say about this. So with the Seven of Swords still being present with the Magician and the Hierophant here, the King of Wands and the Empress, this could be that they're married. That could be what the whole issue was. That could be the responsibilities that they have. Now, Ten of Pentacles means they still have responsibilities to take care of. But with the King of Wands, they can't hold back anymore. And they want to, they're coming in wanting to clear the air, wanting to express everything that's, that gets something off their chest. This may have been weighing on them for a really long time. Now, two possibilities here. On one hand, they may... They may want to stay married and have the Empress as, like, the side chick. And only you know, Libra or if whichever one you are, if you're the empress, only you know if that's what you want. And if you're the masculine, you can't really make that decision for the feminine. She has to make that decision on her own. So that's one possibility. For the other group, because I feel like there's two groups here. One group is that the other group is more about this person saying, I have a time limit for when this will end, and then we can begin a whole new story. But I do have to take care of some things. But there is a very... Um, I will say this. I don't think there's total transparency because the King of Swords has not shown up. Even though the Emperor is here, the King of Swords is the only one that has not shown up. So I don't think there's full transparency, but I think they're telling you enough to where you understand where they're coming from, where there's what's going on in their situation. And there's definite action. The Magician has shown up twice. The Magician is somebody who has all the tools at their disposal to create the reality they want. So they're realizing this and now they're controlling reality, their reality. Let's look at this Ace of Pentacles. Clarify Ace of Pentacles. Oof. The shadow side, clarify the Ace of Pentacles. So in this deck, this is the devil card, the shadow side. And the Nine of Swords. With the Four of Cups. Oh, man. I'm a little disappointed that this is where it ended. 
this is where the energy ends because I do feel a lot of yearning on their side for you. Like, uh, honestly, I feel like it's both ways because you're showing up in a very passionate energy and everything has shown up mutual, right? Four of Wands is mutual. Two of Cups is mutual. The Lovers is mutual. Empress and Emperors mutual. So I feel like the yearning or the longing is on both sides. The Page of Cups has shown up twice, see? But, yeah, see, there you are, Libra. But we do have the devil showing up here with the nine of swords and the four of cups. So this yearning has almost turned into like an obsession that has, it's triggering you. It's triggering you and it's triggering them. There's a lot of anxiety around this connection. There's a lot of anxiety around this new beginning. I think that you may feel like this person doesn't want you and they may feel like you only want them temporarily. Now, they don't want this to be a missed opportunity, so they are coming in, but, but there's so much stress and anxiety connected to this, to this new beginning. Hmm. So overall, I do think this is going to be shocking to you. I do think that you are going to want to work on this connection. You are accepting of the change. Both ways. You were accepting of letting it go and now you're accepting of working on it. But be careful with this energy because the more that this person is, is connected to you, I feel like their shadow side, their triggers are going to come out worse. And so Five of Swords may be a repetitive theme throughout your connection to where they feel like you're trying to overpower them, but it has nothing to do with you doing anything. It has more to do with the effect you have on them. And so then they feel like they have to show you that they are in power. They are in control because they're showing up as the emperor, which the empress and queen of wands would not like. So they are showing up as your match. It's just the king of swords isn't here. So there's still not full transparency. I don't really know what to say about that because only time will tell Libra. Only time will tell. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. Let me know whether this resonated with you guys. Please make sure to drop a comment, even if it's a little emoji, that pushes my algorithm and follow me on the platforms. That way you show me you appreciate my time and my energy, okay? Love you, Libra. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.